<clears throat> All right. First, we'll talk about coughing, and then we'll talk about order of exponents. All right, so what we're doing is we're talking about um, the same thing we did. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. All right, head moss if you're French. All right, first thing is parentheses. So now we're doing this with exponents, so it's it can get tricky because exponents are important. They're really high up. They're like the second thing you do. Well, that's again, they are second place. Nobody cares about second place. We care about first place. So first thing, P is parentheses. So we do what's in the parentheses first. So we'll do this first. Okay, out of those, you got 4 minus 2 times 3. Now, the thing we do first out of there is our, like once, essentially once you go in here, look at this again. Okay, if there's an exponent in there, there is there more parentheses? No. Is there an exponent? No. Multiply? Yes, do that first. So 4 minus... 2 times 3, what's 2 times 3? 6. 4 minus 6 squared plus 3. We can, can we simplify this any? No, 2 is chill just like he is. Alright, and then we still got something in parentheses. 4 minus 6 is negative 2 squared plus 3, parentheses 2 to the third. Now, we've simplified all of our parentheses as much as we can, so that little guy's done. So we move on to our exponent, okay? So what we do is we'll do exponent of negative 2. Now here's where a lot of people mess up. When you put this in the calculator, do not put negative 2 squared. What it's going to do is it's going to do 2 squared and then stick the negative back on there. We don't want that. That's the wrong answer. What you want to do, if there's parentheses around it, which this one was until I drew those goofy looking circles, um, you'll want to do negative 2 squared, not just 2 squared and then keep the negative on the front. We want to do everything in the parentheses squared. So negative 2 times negative 2 would be positive 4, okay? Plus 3, and then we can simplify this one right here as well. 2 to the third, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So that's 8. I'm putting in parentheses again because I distributed that in there. All right? Now, we can do some more here. 4 is chill, chill. He's hanging out, looking around, you know, probably watching Breaking Bad. It's real popular right now. Okay, so whenever you see parentheses there, we know that's multiply. So we're going to multiply those two. 3 times 8 would be 24. And then you do 4 plus 24, 28. All day, every day. All right, thank you for joining us for how to do order of operations with exponents. So if you want, go to targetacademy.com. I've got more math videos. Um, subscribe to the YouTube. You know, and also you can hit me up on Twitter, and I can help you with some problems. Um, take a picture. Twitter's just the easiest because I don't check Facebook. It's not my fault. Zuckerberg cussed me out once. I'm just kidding. He never did that. He's a nice guy.